Okay, so this video is about my official stance on the motives and the so-called justification that is being used in regards to them gang stalking me. Now, first of all, it is stupid as hell for them to try to do the talking. Even if it was something as simple as a celebrity speech or something as insignificant as an English royal speech or a racist Jewish corporate head speech, it would still be dumb for someone else to try to do the talking for them. It is stupid for people to have sex with sex bots and with the same gender while pretending that it's the other gender. Why don't you just do it naturally with the opposite sex? Okay. And for a similar reason, it is unbelievably retarded for them to try to hack the brain of the most righteous person that ever lived so they can do the talking for them. Should Frodo Baggins and George Bush and Schmeagle do the talking for Christ and say what he more or less would say in a way that's less poetic, less mighty, that's more white, what have you, that's more gayish for mere political agendas, racial agendas, governing class agendas, and sexual orientation agendas. What better way to make a disgrace of themselves in reality? What better way to hate their children and themselves than to be those guys who make those mistakes? It is unbelievably retarded for them to do that, for them to provoke me, to harass me. Look at the timeline. Again, I tell you, look at the timeline and consider wisdom and logic. Again, wisdom and logic. Is it wise? No. Is it logical? No. Is it smart? No. Look at the world. All the people starving to death, 9 million people a year, 3 million of them children, starving to death and dying of hunger-related issues, the mass drugging, the torture that occurs, domestic violence, rape, child molestation, the thefts, the idolatry, and the other forms of extreme disgrace. There isn't a person on this planet that doesn't know that the governing class does a horrible job, every single last one of them. If you're on a pirate ship and you steal a little bit less than everyone else and you say, well, with everything considered, I didn't do such a bad job. Is that a good job? No. That's just not as bad of a bad job as you're doing a bad job and you to uh, chose to be part of a category, a group, a formation that is utterly disgraced. There are no words for how childish and how senseless what they have done is. There are no words for how much one should be stoned to death for doing what they've done. So they make up some kind of a weird English frat racist rapist mocker face. A face that a racist rapist makes when he rapes an indigenous person somewhere on the planet. We're in the, they're in the continuity of their ancestor spirits of raping indigenous people and being racist. Listen carefully. I'm going to sound like a racist, white racist for a second to help you understand, to help you visualize what I'm talking about. When a racist, white racist says something like, So what? Tell the people who are oppressing to get a job and to play stupid about all the horrible stuff that goes on behind the scenes and the obvious oppression that we see every day. And also... Tell a bitch to shut up. It's just a dick. Who cares if she was held down? Okay, it's that same spirit. Yes, yes, yes. Get him to blame it on the poor white man, yes. So we can try to look superior, get the minorities to come to come groveling to us for some kind of second class uh, bone or something. You know, if they play stupid about it. It is utterly pathetic. Only the dumbest, the dumbest and lowest forms of life. Make that their heritage. Only people who hate their children more than anyone has ever hated their children ever. Make it so their children have to suffer through the continuity of that heritage. Even if they stopped right now, what are they? But yes, they're far better off stopping right now than continuing. 
When it comes to life forms, the lowest forms of life are the evil people who calculate evil on the highest level of calculating evil. Then you have all the other evil people who are said to be from below. Then you have the animals. Then you have the least of the righteous to the righteous. That is the order. That is the divine order. That is the natural order. To go for the essence of being from below and being despicable and it's being some kind of satanic, organized, rapist piece of shit is beyond retarded. These aren't just words that I'm saying. Everything that I'm saying is significant. These ideas are my official stance on the topic. Not only am I trampling them more than I otherwise would because they, they stoop to that level, low down, dirty, no good, sinking and sinking and sinking to the lowest levels ever seen. There's no words for how much I've trampled these worms. They've resorted to making it harder for me to articulate what's going on. Can you imagine being such a worm that all you can do is act like some kind of pest, some kind of parasite, and make it harder for the most righteous person that ever lived to articulate while you pretend that your bloodlines, which I assure you are toxic slime and filth, are magically superior, waving a magic wand like a little kid that never grew up in some kind of cult, like some, some witch. This reason why it's called witchcraft is bitchcraft, switchcraft. They're trying to pretend they're something else because they are betas and they are pathetic, pitiful, pathetic. Yes, I have won. These people not only have lost, but them and their offspring are lost forever and headed for eternal punishment Well, they will cook and the best they can do is try to hack my brain and change my voice and change my shape like some kind of a bitch, like some kind of helpless, worthless bitch in a life that's short. They get failed, and in the comments, helpless, worthless bitch is what they are. That's why they failed. And this is what they calculated as Masons and, and Royals and, and racist, uh, you know, globalist Jews and so on. So this is what they calculated. This is what you people date. You have women sucking their dicks and having their kids? Are you all that fucking pathetic? Okay, now let's review some scriptures that overkill my point. Proverbs 10, 29. The way of the Lord is a refuge to the upright, but destruction awaits those who do evil. All those who do the evil have cheated me out of my right to leave, especially those who persecute me and try to suppress my message, what have you. Proverbs 11, 3. The integrity of the upright guides them, but the perversity of the faithless destroys them, right? They're perverted. They're perverting the course of justice. They're just fools. Proverbs 11.20 The perverse in heart are an abomination to the Lord, but the blameless in their walk are his delights. So they're perverse in heart. They're perverted in heart. They don't have heart. Proverbs 13.6 Righteousness guards the person of integrity, but wickedness overthrows the sinner. Okay, so they're overthrown by their wickedness. They're inferior as a result. It was stupid to, to go toward the essence of overthrowing oneself like some kind of beta scared worm and using all kinds of technology and magic tricks and, and secret societies and all kinds of stupidity like some chaos magic weirdos to try to cover it up. New Living Translation, godliness, right? Righteousness is synonymous with godliness, right? You can't be godlike and be wicked. Godliness scars the path of the blameless, but the vile are misled by sin. Amplified Bible. Righteousness, being in, the, in right standing with God, guards the one whose way is blameless, but wickedness undermines and overthrows the sinner. God's word's translation. God's word translation. Righteousness protects the innocent. Wickedness is the downfall of sinners. Downfall. Lower. Going down. Beneath. Beneath my feet and going lower. Proverbs 13, 20 connects to Proverbs 20, 26. Walk with the wise and become wise for a companion of fools suffers harm. And a wise king winnows out the wicked. He drives the threshing wheel over them, right? He separates them. He destroys them. He scatters them. He makes sure that they don't go to heaven, what have you. Proverbs 21, 28. A false witness will perish, but a careful listener will testify successfully, right? They didn't listen carefully. They didn't have sound judgment, wisdom, what have you. Proverbs 14, 8, the wisdom of the prudent is to give thought to their ways, but the folly of fools is deception. Proverbs 17, 20, one whose heart is corrupt does not prosper. One whose tongue is perverse falls into trouble. Their actions are perverse. 